and uh, apparently transitioning off that, you know, uh, AEW morale is allegedly at an all-time low. And Danielson is handing out fines for online behavior, and he's leaning into it. So people start memeing Danielson, and he's responsible for handing out fines. And there's people who've been deleting fucking tweets if you see it. But I like that people... Well, Danielson's leaning into it, and he's like, uh, everyone, if you don't watch AEW Collision tonight, I'm going to fine each and every one of you. So it's super funny, man. Um, and I love Danielson. You know, that's why he's so beloved. He's so – and that's why they put him in this position because he's so beloved. But having an active talent finding other active talent is fucked up. Um, and I like that Soraya and Santana both on – X were like, fuck you. You know, Soraya's like, ain't nobody telling me what to do on my fucking social media, first and foremost. And Santana was like, yeah, fine. Like, fucking let's see it. You know, let's see a fine. And so good for them. And even though that might be shoot work, work, shoot, whatever. I don't know, man. It's it's just a bad look. And you see people just tweeting out the nice things about AW. And then you see people with any sort of criticism deleting their shit. AR Fox liked a tweet. And why wouldn't he? He got set up in this angle where they made him a vicious, bloodthirsty heel. And then all of a sudden he gets jumped in as a good guy literally a week or two later. And then now he's just off TV. Like, what the fuck, man? So he's obviously like, what the what the fuck is this? You know, this is like, this is, they sold me a bill of goods. And he liked some tweet by um, Julian Weeks or something. Say, talking shit not talking shit but just saying what he's saying about aw and then julian was respectfully asked by ar fox i'm assuming to delete the tweet showing that he liked it and uh, he julian did delete it and he tweeted out he's like respectfully i was asked and i have no problem doing that but so like there's people trying to avoid fines and shit like that's ugly dude that's fucking ugly and the morale's at an all-time low and it doesn't help when uh, also, the video game. So we talked about the diverticulitis earlier, but the the video game is in a slump too, and they're offering this fucking by the elite edition AEW Fight Forever. I'm gonna type it in. Um, I'll just t- hit AEW Fight Forever, and they're like buy the elite version now and get fucking like Tony Storm, but she's not even like timeless Tony Storm. And the beat the elite, like no one cares about the elite. You just shoehorned yourselves into these games like no one cares about fighting Nick Jackson as a final boss. And um, the Fight Forever Bring the Boom edition gets Matt Hardy the pre-order bonus. And then they're charging like 90 bucks for it. And it's like all the people who bought the game at the beginning are like, fuck you. Like, fuck you in this shit buggy game. So it costs $89. Here's some of the tweets. So at Jay Angels 1986, absolutely disgusting. They're still trying to squeeze every penny out of hardcore fans, yet not trying to make the actual product better. Money all to recoup some of the $10 million they spent because they know it's a dud. Um, this guy, um, at no DQ creation, something. This is a slap in the face to everyone who bought the Elite Edition, myself included. Exactly. It's a slap in the face. You spent your money. Now you got to pay extra after you actually supported the game from the start. A second season pass that costs more money. You mean your fucking season pass just isn't for the game? Like uh, 2K is no better with having people pay to get the updated version of Bad Bunny without Kim- Chembea after already. No, shut the fuck up, dude. No, that's not the same thing. You shilled out the 120. You get everything for the game. And then as a last minute, they add Bad Bunny. And you can just buy Bad Bunny for like two bucks. This is like charging 90 bucks for some shit people already paid for, for like 80 bucks or 90 bucks when it came out. And then you're going to doubly charge it with all the DLC and the people who paid the same amount or more and actually supported the game don't get it all this shit. They have to shill more. It's not the same thing. Um, AEW Fight Forever perfectly illustrates what's wrong with the gaming industry today. Companies sell you a half ass game full price, want you to pay more for the rest of it. So it's $40 more, and you get updated cover art. Matt already has a character who should have already been in the game, and the stuff that's already out. That's why, uh, that's what is commonly known as a ripoff. Um, yeah, how long until weirdos start telling us that six individual units sold is a good thing? No thanks. This guy, ha, 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 more like bring the boom and sweep it in the trash. 
uh, if they think people will buy it, it's delusion. The biggest issue is they sold the Elite Edition as the definitive version, which was supposed to include everything for 80 bucks. Now you want people who purchased the Elite Edition to pay $25 for Season 2. That's over 100 bucks on the game. Now they release this edition with all the content from Season 1 and 2 for 90 bucks, but isn't appealing to fans or casuals. 90 is too much for a bare-bones game, and you're shelling out another 25 for Season 3 whenever that releases. It's not worth the price or hype. Bring a friend edition, two for one. Um, I don't get it. Who is this supposed to be for? They haven't built enough of the casuals and the fans already have the game who are going to buy it. So who's this supposed to be for? Especially considering even with this stuff, it lacks content. Way too expensive for the little additional DLC. Yeah, that is uh, that is awesome. The AEW stream chart, Fight Forever. Um, there's There's 19 people playing on average between nine and 19. This is actually from the stream charts, an ongoing analysis of Steam's concurrent players. So on Steam, they have 19 people playing. Their all-time peak was 1,000. And it's just in the red. They're completely down everywhere. And yeah, man, I uh, I feel so bad for the game, but they fucked up and they're like, we're going to make sequels. And then they add Tony Storm. It's not even timeless Tony Storm. They had the acclaimed. Why isn't the acclaimed already in the game? So... It's uh, it's bullshit, and this just adds on to the bad morale. And it's because of Stooges like Meltzer. And uh, let's talk about him for a minute. 